No one saw this coming. Not Toyota, not BMW, not even Tesla's own board. But five minutes ago, the balance of power in the automotive world shifted permanently. Behind closed doors, at what was expected to be a routine investor briefing, a prototype vehicle was quietly introduced. There was no charge port, no battery pack, no combustion engine. Its only fuel source was water. At first, the announcement seemed implausible. Speculation erupted. Skeptics assumed it was a proof of concept, an engineering stunt. But then the machine was activated. It moved under its own power. No visible exhaust, no sound, just seamless acceleration. Zero to 60 in under four seconds. And it didn't consume a single drop of gasoline or electricity. Tesla had done the unthinkable. Elon Musk addressed the audience with a brief but startling confirmation. This is Aqua Drive. Developed in complete secrecy since 2018, it doesn't store power, it generates it. Within minutes, global markets began to react. Tesla's valuation surged. Trading was temporarily halted. Energy analysts scrambled to interpret a future in which electric vehicles charged from the grid might already be outdated. Because Aqua Drive isn't a battery, it's a real time hydrogen generation system powered entirely by water. So before the oil giants bury this, before lobbyists throw the first punch like subscribe share, at its core is a graphene ceramic ultrasonicator vibrating at over 22,000 cycles per second. This device breaks down water molecules inside a sealed chamber, extracting hydrogen as needed and feeding it directly into a microturbine combustion unit. There's no storage, no compression, no external infrastructure. The vehicle carries a modest 40L tank filled with distilled water. The system requires no special refueling procedure, just clean water from any safe source. Rainwater, filtered seawater, even tap water in emergencies. The result, over 820 kilometers of range per fill. Refueling time, less than 90 seconds. Top speed, 189 kilometers per hour, limited only by software. Exhaust, nothing but steam. Efficiency over 90%, thanks to a recirculated oxygen loop that pushes combustion output beyond anything seen in battery or fuel cell technology. And perhaps most disruptive of all, operating cost, just 0.7 cents per mile. Aqua Drive isn't a marginal improvement. It's a total reinvention. It doesn't rely on superchargers. It doesn't depend on the electrical grid. It requires no lithium, no cobalt, no rare earth metals. And with one stroke, it undermines the industrial foundation of the global EV movement. The implications were immediate. Executives at competing automakers canceled press appearances. Hydrogen lobbyists launched emergency PR briefings. Investment in lithium extraction saw an instant slowdown. Patent filings connected to Tesla spiked by the hour. Because Aqua Drive doesn't just disrupt technology, it disrupts power. Geopolitical, economic, and environmental. Entire supply chains are now in question. Charging infrastructure may soon be irrelevant. And the decades-long race for battery supremacy just lost its finish line. Musk's closing words weren't boastful. They were chilling in their simplicity. This isn't the end of electric, but it might be the beginning of something better. Aqua Drive doesn't ask the world to choose between gas or electric. It replaces the question altogether. A vehicle powered by water, fueled by vibration, generating its own energy on the move. Not a dream, not a prototype, but a fully functional system that already exists and now threatens to upend every blueprint in the transportation industry. This moment may be remembered as the day the future was rewritten again. And this time, it wasn't about batteries. It was about water. The problem? No one told the battery kings their throne was gone. They thought they were ahead of the curve. Solid-state batteries. AI-optimized charging stations. Lithium supply chains locked down for decades. Tesla was building the future on a battery pack. But behind closed doors, that future was starting to unravel. Not in test labs, but in boardrooms, where margins were shrinking and forecasts no longer made sense. Every breakthrough in battery chemistry hit the same limits.
cost, scale, and geopolitical volatility. The real turning point came from a startup almost no one remembered, buried deep in Tel Aviv. Acquired without fanfare in 2021. No press release. No tweet from Musk. Just a line item hidden in a shell company's asset list. Hydronova Systems Limited. Their original mission wasn't transportation. It was naval, miniaturized water-splitting tech designed for long-range submarine drones. But at the heart of their system was something scalable. An ultrasonic separator capable of generating hydrogen on demand. Tesla's best engineers were sent in, quietly and anonymously. Within months, the data was clear. Faster energy release, lower heat loss, zero lithium. But the biggest revelation wasn't technological. It was strategic. A propulsion system powered by water meant freedom. Freedom from rare earth monopolies. Freedom from cobalt conflicts. Freedom from a battery supply, chain straining under its own weight. Internal memos were blunt. Lithium is the single point failure of the EV revolution. The Aqua Drive wasn't just a new engine. It was the contingency plan, and the timing was critical. Unpublished modeling data projected an 18% global decline in EV sales by 2027. Not due to a failure of innovation, but because the infrastructure couldn't keep up. Fragile grids. Charger downtime. Lithium volatility under global pressure. The cracks were visible, so the decision was made. No fanfare, no leaks, just a prototype and a live demonstration to reset the narrative. But what followed wasn't celebration, it was escalation. Behind the scenes, resistance formed fast. Patent rejection attempts came within 36 hours, filed by a coalition of legacy energy firms, German utilities, Korean battery giants, even a French oil link shell company, all citing the same concern, destabilizing to global energy security. Soon after, leaked emails surfaced, lobbyists discussing strategies to delay, discredit, or disable the technology. One line stood out, asterisk, this isn't an engine. It's a weapon, asterisk. Then the whispers from inside Tesla's Gigafactory. A senior propulsion engineer, crucial to Aquad drive testing, collapsed. The symptoms suggested poisoning. Nothing was confirmed. But the results he was finalizing? They vanished. Meanwhile, rivals moved in. Chinese automakers began reverse engineering similar tech. Academic papers were scraped. Old patents reanalyzed. Tesla cyber teams traced intrusion attempts back to institutions with state backing. The launch date was accelerated by 11 months. Not for glory, for defense.